Welcome back to another Celebrity Suites, I'm Ethan, and last month on December 28th, Lady Gaga kicked off her Vegas residency at the Park Theater, and the show is called Ejima, Igma, Igma, Enjima, Enigma, I don't know why that's so hard to say. And I think it lasts until like November of this year, so if you want to go check it out, I'll put links to how you can get tickets in the description below. And if you've seen any pictures from the show, or just know Lady Gaga in general, you know that it's kind of crazy. There's like some blue wigs, sparkly outfits, like a big robot thing. But it is super creative and looks amazing. And if you've seen the poster for the show, you'll know that the colors on there are very bright and neon. Just like bright blue, bright green, bright orange. Almost like a hyper neon vibe. So today we are going to be making a glowing blueberry drink inspired by the Enigma poster. The ingredients for this recipe are three cups of tonic water, one and a half cups of lemon lime soda, half a cup of lemon juice, one cup of frozen blueberries thawed, one cup of frozen blueberries, some blue sanding sugar, some orange sanding sugar, and some blue sparkle gel and orange sparkle gel. Now, the way we're going to get this drink to glow is tonic water. And the cool thing about this is when it's hit under a black light, it glows. But the not so cool thing about this is it tastes so gross. Like, I tried some and I did not know, like, I don't even, what is it? Like, corn syrup, citric acid? It's probably that potassium benzoid and quinine, which probably make it glow. So we're going to use this as our glowing base, but we really want to add a ton of flavor to this drink so that people actually like it and will drink it. The first thing we're going to do in adding flavor to our drink is making some ice cubes. These are actually super easy things you can make for any drink to just add more flavor and plus it won't water down the drink. So over here I've got our lemon juice and our frozen blueberries. And I've also got this ice cube mold that's kind of like these drops that you can easily pop out, but you can use whatever mold you'd like. Now we're just going to pour our lemon juice into the mold and then add a blueberry into every one. While our ice cubes are setting in the freezer, we are actually going to decorate our glasses just like we did in our New Year's Eve treat video. But this time we're going to do it a little differently. We are going to decorate these tall glasses to look just like the Enigma poster. So we're going to start with the blue and that's going to line the top rim of our glass and it's going to come down and curl like her hair. To do this, I have some of this bright blue sparkle gel. You could also use clear piping gel like we did in the New Year's video. But for my sake, this is so much more vibrant. So if any sprinkles get lost or anything, you're still going to see this. And the sprinkles are by the same brand as this, so they match perfectly, which makes me happy. To do this, start by taking your blue sparkle gel and just pipe a bunch of squiggly lines going down the top, curling around, around the top of your glass. Once you've covered the rim of your glass in your blue sparkle gel, now we can add on our sanding sugar. Over here, I've just got a pan so that we can kind of catch it all so that we don't lose it all on the floor and we can save it and it's less clean up. But we're just going to take our sprinkles and sprinkle them onto the piping gel until our sparkle gel is completely covered. <laughs> After your glasses are covered in the blue sanding sugar, now we want to repeat this same process. But this time we are going to use our orange sparkle gel and our orange sanding sugar and make some lips onto the center of our glass. Again, start by taking your sparkle gel and add on some lips, then sprinkle on your orange sanding sugar. So I've just set our glasses off to the side and now we can start to work on our drink. This is a very simple drink. We're just going to take our tonic water lemon lime soda, and our frozen thawed blueberries and add them to a pitcher. All of our components for our drink are ready, so now we can start to assemble this. We've got our drink base, our infusing ice cubes that we made, and the glasses we decorated. 
Just fill your glasses however full you'd like with your drink, add in a few ice cubes, and you're done. And here we have them, our Enigma themed drinks that we made today to celebrate Lady Gaga and her Vegas residency. Now it might look a little different in here, it might look a little dark, and that's because we have to test out the glowing function of these drinks. I think it's got to still warm up a little bit. Come on. There we go. Did you see them glow? This is the perfect Lady Gaga drink because it is wacky and wild. It glows in the dark and it's very vibrant. There is a sour and a sweet note to this as well. And we've decorated the glass. We took it just an extra step. You could totally experiment with different flavors and add-ins and infusers for the ice cubes that we made. And decorate the glass any way you'd like. You could add food coloring to the tonic water and change the color, but I really like this purple kind of ombre look that it gave. But we could have also done a green, kind of for like the nose on the poster. And the longer you let these sit out, the longer the ice cubes are going to infuse and just add more flavor into this drink. If you do happen to make these, please share them with me on Instagram or Twitter. And if you have any other requests for another Celebrity Sweets, please leave it down in the comments below. Also, don't forget to share this video with someone who likes Lady Gaga, drinks, glow in the dark, anything that we've made today. And don't forget to pick up some fun, wacky socks over on my Teespring store. There you'll find many designs, including the original Celebrity Suites, and the link is in the description below to that as well. Until next time, savor life and make it sweet. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, let me know by hitting that like button down below. And while you're at it, subscribe. You can do that by clicking this cute little donut right here. If you're looking for more content, up here is my newest video where we made some Golden Globes inspired pie. And down here is what YouTube thinks you should watch. That's all for today. I will see you guys this Sunday.